obviously with the snowfalls we've had recently, more and more trails are opening, more and more people are coming out to the trails. And just from past history, we know we've had some situations where we've had fatalities and injuries, either people going through the ice into water, uh, getting into collisions that involve uh, alcohol or drugs. And that's, those are the two biggest situations we're trying to avoid this, this season. We see in the vast majority of our uh, collisions with involving serious injury or death where excessive speed or alcohol or drugs are a serious factor. So another thing to be wary of is to mind the 50 kilometer uh, per hour speed limit on our OFSC trails and, al and also to never mix alcohol or drugs with operating your, your snowmobile. Well, I mean the majority of, of people operating snow machines on our trails, they are responsible, they do so safely and we applaud them for doing so. It's that small percentage that choose to go onto the ice uh, when they shouldn't be, where they shouldn't be, or to choose to mix alcohol and drugs with operating snow machines. Don't do it. You're putting yourself at risk. You're putting others at risk who might be trying to rescue you in the situation that you might be in. And you're putting first responders at risk who might be trying to rescue you as well. So one, stay off the ice. Unless a trail is open and the trail goes over ice, that is clearly marked. There's no other reason to go onto the ice and please stay off it. And secondly, no alcohol, no drugs. If you are caught breaking the law, you will be charged criminally. You will face the same penalties as if you were caught operating a motor vehicle on the highway impaired by drugs or alcohol.